Guys, if you yeah. want to tackle all the NFL action, you can do so with FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. Right now, new customers can bet $5, get 150 in bonus bets if that first $5 bet wins. The FanDuel Sportsbook app gives you everything you need to place live bets on the NFL all in one place. So when you get a hunch in the middle of the game, you can check out the latest stats, you live play-by-play, -play, and so much more on the same page where you place your bets. Just visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to join today. Never waste a hunch. Make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. I think it's very important when it comes to the JOK conversation, which Mary Kay, you know, GS Mary Kay about it. It's important to note that JOK hasn't said that this is potentially right. career ending. Right. The Browns haven't said it's potential career ending. Right. This is kind of some reading into it based on what Jordan Hicks's comment was. Yeah. He made it seem like a very serious situation. Obviously, as a teammate, especially at the same position, he probably has a decent feel for it. Yeah. But that doesn't mean his career is, is over. Mm -hmm. But obviously, as a football player, a neck injury is about as serious as it gets. Yeah. Oh, did, look. <laughs> I had to learn firsthand. Like, when you have neck injuries or back injuries, your life is just, in some parts, different. Like, mm -hmm. go look at Greedy Williams. You, you know, yeah. like, you know, there's times that I'm not comparing myself and, and you know, to, to any guys out there. I just want to try to give you guys a perspective uh, or a little insight to it. There, there's some days where you don't have feeling in extremities. Like, there's some days, like, even due to your neck, like, I used to tell my mom I had to calm myself down because after I had so many neck surgeries, I felt like I breathed differently. I felt like I didn't have the capacity to breathe. I was breathing a little more shallow, and it used to freak me out. Or it's times where your arm goes numb, and then it's some of the same symptoms of, you know, neck and, and spinal cord injuries are, are heart attacks. So it'd be like, so can you imagine walking around throughout the day, and you're like, Man, I think I'm having a heart attack. My left mm -hmm. arm is my shoulder. I can't breathe right, correctly. Right, yeah. and, and you just learn that those are, that's just th that you live with. Now, think about what you got to do to get back to ready to play football. And you got to, as an undersized linebacker, not be afraid to take on 300 pound men and put your face mask in somebody's mm -hmm. chest when you're running. It, it's, a, it's a crazy thing. And it's not so much the physical stuff, it's the, Mental things where Tyvis, I'm looking at him like, do I, am I, you know, am I going to tackle this dude the same? Am I going to play the same way the, well, with the reckless abandon? Uh, it's, it's tough to get that out your head. Well, that's the way he was, and I think that's the way he'll always be. But it's a couple of things. One, it's a good thing that he signed his extension because if he is done, like, he's at least paid. Yeah. Secondly, I've dealt, well, I personally haven't, but when I was with the Seahawks, two of my teammates – careers ended because of Remind us who. Cliff Averill and Cam Chancellor. Wow. So what right. happened was they, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it had something to do with like the nerves or something like that. Right. And Cam was the one that he really fought it. Like Cam was like really trying to get yeah. back. And so who eventually? The doctors wouldn't clear him. Okay. The just... doc a doctor wouldn't clear him because you got to think their license is on the line. If right. I clear him and he goes out there and he becomes a paraplegic, yeah, right, right. They go, that's on me. So the thing with JOK, if it is nerve damage or if it's that bad, you know, he it, may not is, have a, choice. is a doctor going to yeah. clear him to go back out there? Is a doctor yeah, comfortable enough? Yeah, again, we're just speculating. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, but not, I'm not saying that's the case. Yeah. I'm just saying if it is that right. bad, Will is it is it, will a doctor put their license on the line and be like, no, you're fine, you can go out there and play. Right. And that's the question. Right. And that's the big <laughs> difference potentially in a situation like Denzel Ward, where ultimately he can play when he's cleared for a concussion. That's up to him. Mm -hmm. But for some players, as you mentioned, the doctor you don't really would, think about yeah, it. Doctor, like, like, you like, just I'm might not, not be allowed to play. Yeah. They, they give you <laughs> so like there, there's like an ECG test basically, and, and there's all this they have a big chart and they, they have these long prodding needles, right? what they do is kind of painful they put these needles in in your arm and they push them or wherever they at where yeah. whether it's, if it's a back injury usually you got some sort of loss of feeling in your lower body or like your leg or your thigh or your calf um for my back i had dropped foot basically which is i think that might have had dropped foot um he was a ohio state buckeyes basketball coach right mm -hmm. Um, and, and when you have neck injuries, usually it's, it's usually in your <laughs> neck down this way through the front of your chest, the back of your shoulders. So they stick these needles in and they'll give you a reading about how much you can feel that. Right. Mm. And basically it's a baseline level. Like if your nerves aren't firing under a certain area, 
or over a certain amount, they're just like, nah, you can't do it. It's just like, it ain't nothing right, about, right. you know, so it's just one of them things. And then they tell you like things like this. They like, oh, look, you can never get on a roller coaster anymore. Mm. I'm like, I can't get on roller coasters. I like, hate roller coasters. I should not. Really? Be, yeah. You can't get on a roller coaster. Nah, because there's a part. So not to get too far. There, there's a part of the disc in, in my neck that can't be operated on mm-hmm. because my spinal cord is wrapped around that. Okay. That. So basically, it's too too risky. Like Correct. Can be paralyzed. Mm-hmm. So they're like, you shouldn't be driving for more than three hours at a time. You shouldn't be moving around in roller coasters. So they give you a list of things you should not do. Mm-hmm. Right. He told me I should never lift weights again. Like wow. never. And here, like, you, and here you are. And here I go, just moving <laughs> around, just doing too much. Mm-hmm. I live. A hey, shout out to my wife. She's so nice. She says, yeah. "Listen, babe." Babe, I will carry groceries for you. I said, you know, you had, that's a funny look. <laughs> you and your wife, she's a little tiny thing, huge G bush, and she's carrying the groceries. Sometimes, that would be so funny sometimes. if you're walking out of the supermarket. She's got like six bags. It's happened before. It's happened before. She's got, she walking in the house with all these bags, and I'm just like, you. and I got glasses on yeah. and jewelry, like, woo, woo, woo. They're going to look at you Nothing here, disgust. nothing to see. You know how many groceries she's buying. Oh. We had, when she had us over for your birthday last oh. year, G, she cooked enough food for 700 people. Oh my god, that was a lot of Yeah, food. she she just was like, yeah, that's, everything is fine. I'm like, bro, you got me looking crazy. We don't have to go to grocery shopping at night so yeah. people don't look like I'm just over here just being a jerk. But Wait a yeah. minute, speaking of jerk and speaking of food, oh, man, that jerk chicken. Yeah, we got to get that What's back. What's wrong with you, man? Yeah, it's G-Bush been like a year. Have a party it's this been year. like There's a no year. Party this year. I got it. I got it. Boy, he owed me some jerk chicken. I got two mm. guys. I told McNuggets. <laughs> I told, listen, I got, I got, I got a barbecue guy that said, Joe, G-Bush, just tell me what time they want to come and he got the food he been on steve harvey well he been but on- tell him i'm trying to come today i ain't got to work in columbus no, they want to come in here they want to oh they want to come in here so i'm gonna make sure that you they come when you here yeah all right yeah you owe me hey, this has been like a year i'm gonna get you some jerk chicken we're gonna bring him in you know i'm half jamaican, half jamaican. i want jamaican. my jerk chicken. by the way we wish the, obviously the best for jok and it's i mean we've talked about the you know what it means as a human being but as a football player i mean He's one of the very few <laughs> good young players the Browns have. Let's be fair about it. I mean, that man is so cultured. I like he, he is so smart. He like the way. Like I love the fact that he comes in in his in his, his historical garb. Yeah, form. yeah. Like he's he's a he's a well cultured guy. He's been through a lot. You know, he lost his brother. Yeah. I mean, he's just like he he's really. A very solid individual. You just hate to see that. Yeah, kind of it's, stuff. Just, it's too bad. It's Hope, only been be it's right. only been two players in the past couple of years that the Browns extended that I said that was a great choice. JOK Denzel Ward. Glad it wasn't Dustin Hopkins on that list. <laughs> uh, uh, one last thing before we get back to the Cavs, <laughs> yeah. but it was made officially official. We assumed that the Bohork injury is. happened, but uh, Dewan Jones out for the rest of the season with a fractured ankle. The Browns yeah. put him on IR. We've talked about Dewan and his. You know, Jason was on the show and said he was up to like 420 pounds, 415 pounds this summer as he was getting rehab for his knee injury from last season. How much concern do you guys have about Dewan coming back yeah. after a, a significant amount of time where he's not even able to put weight on his ankle? I, I think Dewan is one of those players that you have to go into a season not counting on him. And if, he, if he's there and he can play, okay. But you can't rely on that guy because he's got – a, a, a weight problem mm-hmm. that's not going to, that's very hard to defeat. Uh, it is, an, I don't know him personally, so I don't know, but most likely he's got an addiction at, when it comes to food, and it's very hard to overcome. And he's probably going to gain a ton of weight dealing with this injury. I would not be surprised. Um, and he has already, in two years, been hurt like four or five times. So there's no way that the Browns can go into next season saying, we've got our left tackle, it's all set. You can't, you can't do that. There's got to be other options. What's his recovery process? I don't know. What's the exact injury? A, an ankle? A what? fractured. See, take that here. Uh, but it was done with the season with a fractured ankle. Yeah, so, I mean, so, what, so they're going to have surgery. Is he going to be in a boot for a while? Boot crutches, according to yeah. universityhospitals.org. Yeah. So pretty reputable source. I'd say While so. Well, most – I'm going to read this directly. Yeah. Most ankle fractures take more than six weeks to heal. It could be longer if any 
ligaments or tendons were ripped in the process. Mm. Depending on treatment, uh, it takes at minimum six weeks, but after that, then it's a slow rehab process to be able to start putting more weight on it. So when you are in a boot, now I don't know how long he's going to be. Have you guys been in a boot? Yes, for a long times. time. I, fr I fractured in high school. I fractured my ankle. So how long were you in the boot for? Um, I was in a walking boot for three weeks. Okay, I was in a boot. Now again, I'm no athlete. Uh, this was, oh, I was like around forty when I tore my Achilles, and I was in a boot for three months. And you can't work out that leg when you're in a boot. Your muscles atrophy big time. You don't realize. Like yeah. three weeks, I don't know if your muscles did in three weeks, probably a little bit. Well, I was in a walker boot like you because yeah. I, I partially tore my, my Achilles too. Yeah. And you can't even put weight on your toe. No. And <laughs> when, when they took off, when I finally got the boot off, the difference in my calf muscle from one leg to the other was wild. Crazy, right? And I've, now, I'm not an athlete. So even my rehab, I never really got it back to full strength. It's fine now, mm -hmm. but he's a professional athlete. He should be up, but that takes time, no matter who you are, to get that muscle back. And he's got so much weight on his body yeah. that it's yeah. even harder. Yeah, Tyvis, when you got that weight on you, I always know when, when I'm over a certain amount because there, where are you where are you currently at? Um, uh, man, I'm about listen. I'm in I'm in I'm medium sauce right now. <laughs> It's like I'm I'm medium enough that I could wear all my smaller clothes, but if I was to just have a bad weekend, it'd be, it'd be too much. All this yeah. gear is out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bologna sandwich. Let, San you, know, shirt <laughs> San, you know how it is. Bro. Oh my god, you, I like, got like seven different sets sir, of shirts sir, sir, I can sir, wear. Sir, it's, I'm like, the I'm sad like, thing is, woo. I just had to go. I had for the first time in my life. Yeah. I've been wearing a 34 yeah. since I was in the sixth grade. Mm. For the first time in my life, I had to go buy some 36 Gs because yeah. my 34 is getting fit. You, you see, you see. I, I, and I cried a little bit. Uh, yeah, dead serious. Like, like, I can't believe this. You, what you find <laughs> out is metabolism works for men as well. We give yeah. women a lot of grief for my metabolism stopped. Like, guys, here's all the dudes with abs. See, like, I've had to control this my whole life. See, guys with abs, they eat double cheeseburgers and candy and pop, mm -hmm. and they, they walk around with their shirt off, and we like, how you getting that off? Mm -hmm. When they get to our age, we used to it. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> we yeah. know how to mask our stuff. Y'all ain't used to wearing big sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wearing big sweaters now. We wear the same mm -hmm. same hoodie. But, no, like, when you get when you get big <laughs> like that, your frame takes on so much added, added pressure, and now it's, it's the thing where, you never quite get the mobility back in the bend and in that ankle, and then you 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 uh, compound that with another injury to another body part. So now you got limited mobility because of the ankle. Then you put the knee on. Yeah. What they're gonna have to do with him is this, and we go, we talked to Joe Thomas. What they're gonna have to do with with him is he's gonna have to come back to a point where. They're gonna have to remake what what his thought process is of where he plays. Yeah. He he needs to be playing three twenty five. And I know that's a lot of weight that to get rid of. That is a lot of weight. We're but, you. but that is going to save his career. You're right. Because Most likely. At, at 325. Where is he? Where, where did you say, Jason? He, got he four, was 420 four, in the four, beginning Jason of the year. Jason said 415. Four, four. And, now, the, and you said he got down to 375? He was playing at 380. And you noticed it. Like, you yeah, noticed yeah, it, I'm yeah. sure. And you want I, him to get to 320? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's going to be hard. That's going to be very hard. He's got to cut off a leg to do that. No, nah, he, he, what he got to nah, do is cut off some habits. But it's going to be hard. This he is how some this, habits. That's but me. he has the advantage, unlike most of us that are fat, that that's his job. He, got, he has he can, spend, he can spend his whole day working out, essentially. Oh, he has a dietitian. Yeah. This, this, monitor is how, what he this is how I look at it. Yeah. Okay. This is a simple thing. It depends on when DeWine Jones' mindset. That's coming, right. Coming that's into it. this, okay. This, and I'm going to ask Joe Thomas about this when he comes. Yeah, well, this will be good questions for Joe, yeah. He got, what, two, three games of film at left tackle? Mm -hmm. And he looked solid. Yeah. So right now, in the Browns' heads, they thinking, you know, worst case scenario, DeWine can play left tackle. Mm -hmm. This would be year three, which means negotiations start. Mm -hmm. Year three, because he was a fourth-round pick. He, yeah. Four years is his contract, so three years. He go out here and he dropped the weight like you say. He rehab and he come back in the best condition, in the best shape of his life and, yeah. and ball out. Mm. For He'll next get year. paid huge. Oh my goodness! Yeah, De Deshaun's coming get, off the yeah. books yeah. in the year. Wait, well, he got two years left. Yeah, he got next year and the year after that. That's right. So 
he gonna negotiate his contract. It won't kick in until Deshaun's off the book, so he really can hit it. Big. The next six <laughs> months. If you're listening, Dewan, I'm just saying. The next six months. Listen to business, the OG. The next six months. You got one chance to do this. Are gonna determine whether Dewan Jones is potentially a 10, 12 year superstar potentially. Like he has that potential. Yeah, he do. Or he's out of the league in a couple of years. And, and when you start, and, and a lot of people don't start taking care of it. I, I wish I would have learned this. Like, after I had the first injury, I just wish I would have been like, oh, no, no, no. I got I to gotta stop all that. Like, I got I to gotta be in there all the time. Like, but you thought you could roll out of bed mm-hmm. and just keep, keep getting, and then you realize, oh, no, that okay. God-given ability that you thought you had, there's people out there with that. That's that's not hurt. He that's can, right. But he can hire like a chef and all. Yeah. That. He can hire anything. Like yeah. he just he yeah. literally gotta yeah. really take it serious. Serious. Like you right. got he gotta understand that the importance of this year and next year. Like yeah. he can't I got be one, Taco Bell breakfast with you and me. I got no. one chance <laughs> to like really just. That's right. This is it. Because you only. I mean, in the league, some people get lucky to make it too. But that that first one is the one that you. That's right. You gotta yeah. really. Yeah. You gotta hit that thing.